welcome or welcome back. I'm the Tilted Crown Gourmet. Today we're going to be doing an orange and maple braised lamb shank with mint sauce as well as an orange roasted asparagus with halloumi and mint and last but not least we're going to be doing fondant sweet potatoes. This is part of a much larger meal and all the links for the entire meal will be down in the description. So let's get some prep done and let's get cooking. So we're gonna start preparing our lamb. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to French it. So we just wanna get the bone clean because as the lamb cooks, the meat will shrink back to reveal a nice, white bone. So I also take off what I refer to as the silver. It's this like little membrane that is over the lamb. What I have found is that if you remove this, you end up with a milder uh, tasting lamb. Sear the lamb shanks in batches as you don't want to overcrowd the pan. Make sure you sear all sides of your lamb shanks for two to three minutes each side or until brown. Then place them in a large deep sided roasting pan and set aside. Wipe out your frying pan. Zest one orange. To make our braising sauce for our lamb, we will add our chicken stock to our skillet and place our heat on medium high. Then add our garlic maple syrup. Make sure that it's real maple syrup and not imitation. Next, we're going to add our brown sugar, our malt vinegar, our orange zest, our fresh squeezed orange juice, and rosemary. We will then bring it to a boil. Once it boils, we'll then pour over our lamb shanks, making sure to get all of our rosemary and all of our garlic out and into your braising pan. Cover it tightly with aluminum foil and roast in your preheated 180 degrees C or 350 Fahrenheit oven, turning the shanks halfway through the initial two and a half hour cooking process or until the shanks are tender. So next we're going to be making our mint sauce for our lamb. Well, we're going to be starting to make our mint sauce because after we do this step, we're going to have to let it cool. Once it cools, then we're gonna add our mint to it. So turn on your cooktop. Put it on about six, which is medium high heat. And we're gonna add our vinegar, malted vinegar, and we're gonna add our brown sugar. And we're gonna cook this until the sugar dissolves and everything is incorporated. So now it's cooked for about six minutes and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this dish and we're going to allow it to completely cool. For the fondant sweet potatoes, you want to clean your potatoes and then cut the ends off and cut them into three centimeter or approximately one inch sections and set aside. To start preparing our asparagus, we want to zest a small orange. You will then juice the orange Load by juicing a lemon. In a small bowl, we'll add our orange zest, orange juice, olive oil, lemon juice, honey, salt and pepper, and incorporate, and then set aside. Let's get our asparagus prepped by removing any of the woody section and trying to keep them at approximately the same size. Place them on your roasting pan and drizzle your sauce over them. You wanna mix them with your hands to make sure that they're evenly coated with your orange sauce. At this point, they're ready to go into the oven. Continuing with our fondant sweet potatoes by adding our melted butter and olive oil over the potatoes. Add some freshly ground pepper and salt. Then you wanna make sure that you move them around the pan and flip them over to make sure that they're thoroughly coated. After you flip them over, make sure that you salt and pepper them again on the second side. At this point, they're ready to go into the oven. Rose for 20 minutes in a 240 degree C or 465 degree Fahrenheit oven. Dice some mint for later and set aside. 
turn your lamb shanks over halfway through your initial two and a half hours of cooking and you'll notice how the meat has pulled away from the bone as a result of the frenching of the shanks at the beginning of this process. Recover for the remainder of your two and a half hours. Now increase your oven temperature to 220 degrees Celsius or 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the foil and roast uncovered, turning the shanks every 15 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes, or until the sauce is glossy and sticky. Let's do our maple butter pecan sauce. Gonna again go to about six put our pecans in. Turn up my heat a little bit because I want to, I want to be able to smell the pecans. Add in our butter, syrup, cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. Stir it all together. What we want to do is we want the butter to melt. Once the butter melts, you want to cook it for approximately another one and a half minutes to allow it to thicken up a little bit. However, it will continue to thicken as it cools. Time has elapsed. Now, we'll transfer it and allow it to cool. Flip your potatoes and then roast for another 15 minutes. By this time, both sides should have some nice color and they will be cooked through but we're going to take them further to make them ultra creamy on the inside as well as add flavor. Spoon the buttery pan juices over the potatoes. Pour your stock and add your optional garlic. Then return to the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes until the stock is soaked up by the potatoes. You'll end up with a thick sludge at the bottom of the pan, which might even look a little burnt. That's okay, we're not gonna use it. Place your asparagus in a preheated 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove your lamb shanks from the oven and allow them to rest while you work on the rest of your meal. As you place your lamb onto your serving dish, be careful as they are very tender. Place your mint sauce in its serving container and sprinkle with your diced mint that we had you set aside from earlier. Also sprinkle your lamb shanks with your mint leaving extra for garnish later. Drizzle some of your mint sauce over your lamb shanks. After the additional 20 minutes, remove your sweet potatoes from the oven. Place them on a serving dish. Next, add your maple butter pecan sauce. Lastly, you will sprinkle with fresh thyme. Add a splash of olive oil to your pan and cook your halloumi for one minute per side or until golden brown. To serve, transfer your asparagus and its lovely orange dressing to a serving dish. Then top with the halloumi and scatter with mint leaves. Plate your meal and bon appetit. It was fabulous from start to finish. And we're not finished yet. The lamb was amazing. The sweet potatoes were the best oh, I've the had. the walnuts? Oh, man. With walnuts. Yes. And the dessert was amazing decadent with the special drink decadent okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> can never go wrong with the tilted crown i would like to thank you for continuing to watch the tilted crown gourmet don't forget to like subscribe and share because you know that helps to grow this channel because it helps the youtube algorithm so again thank you for watching the tilted crown gourmet